Hey, this is Kamari, and today we're going to be making Liliana's cloak. Now, for the pattern, I am using Simplicity S0745. It's for Anna and Elsa from Frozen. It seems a little silly using a Disney princess for Liliana, but whatever. So, we're going to be making Anna's cloak. So, it's view B, and we are not going to be cutting out the pieces for the yoke or the collar. We don't need those. So, patterns everywhere, because cloak patterns are huge. So, I'm cutting out the pieces for the front of the cloak, the back of the cloak, and this pattern envelope had the smallest size being size 14, so that's the size I'm going to cut out, because I don't want the cloak to be super huge, because it's already going to take up a lot of material. After cutting out the pattern pieces, it's time to then use them to cut the fabric and I'm going to be lining the cape in itself so all of the pattern pieces where they say cut two we're actually going to be cutting four of them because I'm going to be using the same fabric for the lining as well and this is a purple velour that I got from Joanne Fabrics now as a reminder velour and velvet have a pile to them so you can see, let's see if it'll show up on camera. Okay, so there is a direction to the fabric. So it's smooth this way and rough going that way. So trying to cut everything so that the smooth side is going towards the end of the cape. After cutting the pieces out, put the back cape pieces right sides together and then sew them together along the center back seam and you're going to do this for both sets of cape back pieces. Now this material didn't seem like it was going to fray very much so I didn't worry about zigzagging the edges but if you're using a material that you think is going to fray you can go ahead and do that step before assembling the rest of the cape. Now we're going to put right sides together and sew the front pieces of the cape to the back piece of the cape. We're going to sew them together along the sides. Next put both sides of the cloak right sides together and then we're going to sew them together along the neckline of the cape. Next take the edge of the cloak right where the neckline meets the other side and then fold it over towards the inside and sew into place. Then you're going to cut on either side of the stitched area to make this flap. Fold the cloak so that the right sides are facing outward and the wrong sides are together. Now we're going to sew along the neckline to create a channel for the cord. I'm making Liliana's cape a drawstring instead of attaching it to the bodice because I feel like attaching it to the bodice, especially with the cloak being this heavy, is going to cause a lot of strain on my shoulder and would pull the bodice in a strange way, so I'd rather have the cape be a separate piece. So now what we're going to do is sew all the way along the neckline of the cape. Next we're going to sew along the outer edge and we're going to sew the two sides of the cloak together. Now when you're sewing be careful not to accidentally sew through the channel that we made earlier. We need to keep that open so we can thread the cord through it. To add the fur trim around Liliana's cloak, we're going to start by cutting a rectangle out of fake fur, then fold one side down, and we're going to hand sew the edge in place using a whip stitch. Putting right sides together, put the fur onto the edge of the cape, a little bit above where the marking from when the two edges were sewn together, and I'm just going to hand sew 
the fur onto the cape along that line of stitching. When you get to the end of the trim, trim off any excess fur and then fold the end over and hem it just like you did with the other side. After the fur has been sewn on to one side of the cape, fold the fur over and sew the edge onto the cape using a whip stitch. Thread your gold cord through the top of the cape and then with that, Liliana's cape is done. For more cosplay sewing tutorials, please subscribe. And as always, if you have any suggestions for any character you'd like to see me make a tutorial for, let me know in the comments below. Thank you.